Okay, hi guys! Welcome to Ainor Channel. So ngayon naman, ang ating review ay tungkol sa Gen Ed Biology. So, katulad na nauna natin mga videos, meron mga tanong at nakahilera po dito yung mga correct answers. So, updated po ito siya na reviewers. Number one, which of the following scientific traits is being described in the continuing experiments that may not be successful right away? A. Truthfulness, B. Perseverance, C. Humility, and D. Creativity. Okay, so the correct answer is letter B. Perseverance. Number two, which scientific skill is manifested in analyzing arguments, their logic, the source of information, etc.? A. Critical thinking, B. Creative thinking, C. Decision making, and D. Problem solving. Okay, so for number two, the correct answer is letter A, critical thinking. Number three, a hypothesis becomes a theory if it is A, a result of an invention, B, tested in an experiment, C, supported by repeated evidence, and D, an improvement of a previous finding. For number three, the correct answer is letter C, supported by repeated evidence. Okay, number four, Bridget and Benedict are pet lovers. They have beautiful, healthy Guinea pigs. They feed their pets with freshly cut caribou grasses every morning. One morning, they cut caribou grasses growing near one of their neighbor's house and feed it to their pets. To their surprise, their pets are already dead when they visited in the afternoon. To find out what causes the death of their pets, Bridget and Benedict decided to use scientific method in their investigation. So what will be their first step? A. Formulate scientific guess. B. Conduct preliminary interview from the neighbor. Or C. State the problem. Or letter D. Dissect the pets to see what's inside. Okay, the correct answer is letter C. State the problem. To obtain accurate results from their experiment, Bridget and Benedict should conduct A. A controlled experiment B. A trial and error experiment C. An controlled experiment or letter D. A structured laboratory activity The correct answer is letter A. A controlled experiment Okay, number 6. In an experiment designed to determine how the duration of daylight exposure in a 24-hour period affects the flowering of essential plants, the different durations of daylight at which the experimental groups of poisentia plants are exposed are the blank A. Controlled variable B. Dependent variable C. Independent variable and letter D. Growth variable The correct answer is letter C. Independent variable and number seven, it has been observed that all frogs, like bullfrogs, are carnivorous animals. In their natural habitat, frogs are highly dependent on a small animals that constantly move like worms, insects, and fishes as their sources of food. To raise the bullfrog in commercial quantities, it is necessary to change their feeding habits. Biology suggests that bullfrog can be thought to eat dead feeds if the feeds are in motion. So the suggested statement is an example of A. Blank, A. Result, B. Theory, C. Procedure, and D. Hypothesis. So for this, the correct answer is letter D. Hypothesis. Number 8. When volcano erupts, it destroys the biotic communities in the area. After a certain period of time, biotic communities appear again, which is the most likely order of succession in the repopulations of the area. A. Lichens, grasses, shrubs, trees. B. Mosses, grasses, lichens, trees. C. Grasses, trees, mosses, lichens. Or letter D. Shrubs, grasses, trees, lichens. Okay, the correct answer is letter A. Lichens, grasses, shrubs, and trees. So, kung may mali man po ako na-pronounce dito, correct me if I'm wrong. So, feel free po to comment sa ating comment sections. Okay, so nobody's perfect naman po pagdating sa pronunciations. Kasi minsan po nakadepende po yung pronounce natin sa mother tongue based language natin. So, thank you for understanding. Next, water. 
oxygen, carbon dioxide, and glucose can pass through the cell membrane of the red blood cell while other substances are blocked from entering. This cell membrane is described as A. Perforated, B. Permeable, C. Semi-permeable, and D. Non-conductive. And the correct answer is letter C. Semi-permeable. Number 10. What causes tomatoes to ripen much more slowly in a refrigerator than they do if left on a table at room temperature? A. Tomatoes need sunlight to ripen. B. Humidity accelerates the ripening process. C. Low temperatures reduce the action of ripening enzymes. Letter D. Enzymes produced by bacteria inhibit ripening. The correct answer is letter C. Low temperatures reduce the action of ripening enzymes. 11. Eukaryotic cells are differentiated from prokaryotic cells because eukaryotic cells blank A. have no fluid, B. have no cell membrane, C. have higher rate of reproduction, letter D. have true nucleus and membrane-bounded organelles. The correct answer is letter D. have true nucleus and membrane-bounded organelles. Number 12. Which of these are prokaryotes? A. Bacteria and cyanobacteria B. Frogs and snakes C. Man and gorilla or D. Birds and snakes The correct answer is either A. Bacteria and cyanobacteria Number 13. Which of the following organelles is responsible in packaging the protein secreted by the cell? A. Mitochondria B. Ribosomes C. Cytoskeleton and D. Golgi bodies Okay, the correct answer is letter D, Golgi bodies or Golgi bodies. Number 14, the radiant energy in the sunlight is first captured by the molecule in the plant cells called A, chlorophyll, B, glucose, C, water, or letter D, adenosine triphosphate. The correct answer is letter A, chlorophyll. Number 15, the function of a vacuole is most similar to that of Blanc. A. An incubator, B. An engine, C. A director, or letter D. A storage tank. The correct answer is letter D. A storage tank. Number 16. Which of these structures is present in a plant cell but absent in an animal cell? A. Cell wall, B. Cell membrane, or letter C. Vacuole. Letter A. A only, B. Letter B only, letter C. C only, and letter D. A and C only. Okay, the correct answer is letter A, A only. Number 17, in which of the following processes does the cell membrane change its shape? A, a direct absorption, B, phagocytosis, C, phagocytosis, and letter D, both B and C. Correct answer is letter D, both B and C. Okay, number 18, all of the following are involved in movement except A, cilia, B. Flagella, C. Pseudopodia, and D. Cell wall. So, pasensya po kung may mali akong pronunciation dito. Okay, the correct answer is letter D. Cell wall. Number 19, what is a cell? Letter A. A living organism that is neither a plant or an animal. Letter B. The smallest unit of living and non-living matter. Letter C. The smallest part of an organism that can carry out life functions. Letter D, a living unit that always specializes in a particular function of an organism. Okay, the correct answer is letter C, the smallest part of an organism that can carry out life functions. Number 20, which of the following is the main function of the chromosomes? A, provide nutrients necessary for development. B, provide energy needed for growth to maturity. Letter C, provide proteins required by the genes. Letter D, provide information needed for proper growth and development. The correct answer is letter D, provide information needed for proper growth and development. Okay, number 21, which of the following best describes the position of the chromosomes during metaphase? A, aligned at the equatorial plate. B, clustered at each pole of the cell. C. Arrange randomly in the cytoplasm or letter D. Arrange randomly in the nucleus. And the correct answer is letter A. Aligned at the equatorial plate. 
Number 22, damaged muscle tissue is normally replaced by the cell through what process? A. Phagocytosis, B. Mitosis, C. Meiosis, or letter D. Exocytosis. Correct answer is letter B. Mitosis. Number 23, if there are five cells undergoing mitotic division, how many daughter cells will be produced? A5, B10, C15, and D20. Okay, the correct answer is letter B, 10. Number 24, a dog or canis familiaris has 78 chromosomes in all cells except the sex cells which have A26, B39, C79, and D156. Okay, the correct answer is letter B, 39. 25, plants take in carbon dioxide and releases oxygen during photosynthesis. This indicates that the plants... A. Affect the balance of gases in the atmosphere. B. Take oxygen from the air the same as in the animals. Letter C. Compete with animals in the supply of oxygen in the atmosphere. Letter D. Rely on the sand as their source of energy. Okay, the correct answer is letter A. Affect the balance of gases in the atmosphere. Okay, number 26. A plant placed in an airtight glass container and watered without allowing air in and out of the container will eventually die because of the lack of A. Oxygen, B. Water, C. Light, or D. Carbon dioxide. Okay, the correct answer is letter D. Carbon dioxide. Number 27. The products of photosynthesis are the raw materials of respiration. This suggests that photosynthesis and respiration form A. A cycle, B. An event, C. A sequence, and D. A timeline. So, the correct answer is letter A, a cycle. Okay, number 28. The following are functions of plants, roots, except A, absorbing water and minerals, B, providing stable foundation for growth, C, breaking down food into nutrients, and D, anchoring the plant in the soil. Okay, the correct answer is letter C, breaking down food into nutrients. Number 29. Solemn water, blanc is for food. A. Fibers, B. Form, C. Stem tissue, and D. Intercolory bursting. Okay, the correct answer is letter B. Plant. Number 30. The original source of energy in the food chain is in the form of A. Chemicals obtained from digested food, B. Light, which is energy from the sun, C. Animals, which use energy for their life functions, and letter D. Plants, which obtain food from other plants. Okay, the correct answer is letter B, light, which is energy from the sun. 31. The rat eats rice and is eaten by the hook. In this food chain, the hook is the blanc, A, producer, B, primary consumer, C, secondary consumer, and D, decomposer. Okay, the correct answer is letter C, secondary consumer. Number 32. Which of the following is true about the energy in the food chain? A. It increases steadily. B. It decreases steadily. C. It remains the same at all levels. Or letter D. It is created by the composers. The correct answer is letter B. It decreases steadily. 33. In the given diagram, what does it illustrate? So, papansin din lang natin itong diagram na nasa itaas. Okay, so letter A. A food chain. B. A food web. C. Their habitat. Or letter D. Ecological pyramid. Okay, so the correct answer is letter B, a food web. Okay, number 34. In the illustration above, which one is true? So, meron pa rin itong kaugnayan doon sa number 33. So, letter A, the snake is a second order and third order consumer. Letter B, Maya bird eats the snake. Letter C, the frog is the third order consumer. And letter D, the hook is eaten by the frog and rat. Okay, so the correct answer is letter A. The snake is a second order and third order consumer. Okay, number 35. Which of the following is the correct sequence of biological organization from lowest to highest? A. Cell, organ, community, population, ecosystem. B. Molecules, cell, organ, population, community. Letter C. Molecules, organ, ecosystem. Community, biosphere, letter D, cell, organ, system, community, biosphere, 
ecosystem? Okay, the correct answer is letter B, molecules, cell, organ, population, community. Number 36, in a certain plant, flower may either be red or white, and some texture may either be smooth or rough. A plant with white flowers and rough stem, when crossed with plants with red flowers and smooth stem, produce offspring with all red flowers and smooth stem, which best represents the genotypes of the offspring. A R R S S B R R S S C R R S S letter D R R S S. Okay, so the correct answer is letter C. Number thirty-seven. If you are given a plant which is a product of a genetic experiment, which of the following you are most likely accurate of describing? A its genotype, B its phenotype, C its recessive genes, or letter D its dominant genes. The correct answer is letter B, it's panotype. Okay, number 38, in a pea plant, inflated bud is dominant over constructed bud. In a cross between a heterozygous plant with inflated pod and a plant with constructed bud, what will be the phenotype of the offspring? A, all with inflated pod, B, all with constructed bud. Receive 50% with inflated pad and 50% with constructed pad. Letter D, 25% with inflated pad and 75% with constructed pad. A, the correct answer is letter C, 50% with inflated pad and 50% with constructed pad. Okay, number 39. Brian planted a seed upside down such that the root end is facing up while the shoot end is facing down. But after germination, the root grows downward and the shoot grows upward. Which of the following is described above? A. Tigmotropism, B. Geotropism, C. Phototropism, and D. Both B and C. Okay, the correct answer is letter D. Both B and C. Okay, number 40. Etiology, fishes, ornithology, blank. A. Insects, B. Birds, C. Algae, and D. Fungi. Okay, the correct answer is letter B, fruits. Okay, which of the following is mismatch? A, genetics, heredity, and variation. B, physiology, life functions. C, evolution, change through time. Or letter D, morphology, cells, and tissues. The correct answer is letter D, morphology, cells, and tissues. Okay, number 42, environmental problems such as floods, Soil erosion and deflation of wildlife resources can be traced to A. Deforestation, B. Acid precipitation, C. Eutrophication, and D. Global warming. Okay, the correct answer is letter A. Deforestation. Okay, number 43. Which of the choices is a monocot? A. Guava, B. Banana, C. Star Apple, and D. Gomamella. Okay, the correct answer is letter B. Banana. 44. Which of the choices is a dicot? A. Sugarcane, B. Grass, C. Coconut, D. Mango. Okay, the correct answer is letter D. Mango or Mango. Okay, number 45. Which of the following is not a mammal? A. Kangaroo, B. Seahorse, C. Whale, or D. Butt. Okay, the correct answer is letter B. Seahorse. Okay, number 46. Which of the following pairs of organisms is most related? A. Bacteria and cyanobacteria because both belong to Kingdom Monera. B. Man and chimpanzee because both belong to class Mammalia. Letter C. Earthworm and leech because both belong to phylum and millet. Letter D. Dogs and cats because both belong to order Carnivora. Okay, for number 46, the correct answer is letter D. Dogs and cats because they both belong to order Carnivora. Okay, number 47, which of the following best describes a symbiotic relationship? A. Good organisms benefit each other. B. One organism is benefited while the other is harmed. Letter C. Two organisms live closely to each other. Letter D. One can exist in the absence of the other. Okay, the correct answer is letter C. Two organisms live closely to each other. Okay, number 48. Salt and sugar are often used as food preservatives. Preserved food like jam, salted fish, and eggs do not easily spoil because of the high amount of sugar and salt which A. is toxic to microorganisms, B. can enter the cells of microorganisms causing them to swell and burst, 
NRC prevents the entry of nutrients to the microorganisms, causing them to die. Letter D prevents the entry of water to the microorganisms that makes the cell plasmolides and die. Okay, for number 48, the correct answer is letter D. Prevents the entry of water to the microorganisms that makes the cell plasmolides and die. Number 49, dengue is traded disease. In its advanced stage, it causes internal bleeding of which in most cases, it is fatal. What causes this disease? A. A certain kind of virus. B. A certain kind of protozoa. Letter C. A certain species of mosquito. And letter D. A certain strain of bacterium. For number 49, the correct answer is letter A. A certain kind of virus. For the last number, number 50, a pitcher plant drops insect inside its pitcher like structure. This describes an ecological relationship known as A. Predation, B. Parasitism, C. Competition, and letter D. Commensalism. Number 50, the correct answer is letter A. Predation. Okay, so dito lamang po nagtatapos ang ating review sa araw na ito. So maraming maraming salamat po sa panunood and please lang po huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe at ihit na rin ang notification bell para updated po kayo sa mga susunod pa nating video about review. Okay, so ito po ay isang halimbawa ng uh, Gen Ed sa Biology or General Education Reviewer specific sa Biology. So maraming salamat po. I hope meron po kayo natutunan sa ating session sa araw na ito. Thank you!